Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. The teams then, Inter against Porto. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. So the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Gets his foot in there. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Mukatari. Sensi. Sensi. Steered out wide. Marcano tries to get it forward quickly. Otavio. Brozovic. Sensi pumps it upfield. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Oh, it looked like a training ground drill that almost worked a treat only for that flag to go up he just went a tad early out to the left it goes looks to slip it through <laughs> Sensi Checo rolls out on the left now Kolarov passes it through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Ranocchia gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Dzeko. Lukaku with the ball through. Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper. And what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. tried to stand in his way he just was not to be denied oh this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score I mean for that defense it was a case of now you've got him now you don't brilliant into Milan draw first blood here 
It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Felipe Anderson and the finish! Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Looks like a good ball through. Shoots! He scored! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. to Milan, take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely, they'll manage one or the other. Pepe. And the first 45 minutes are up. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Inter Milan go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Tries a through ball. Mkhitaryan looking to get on the end of this. Clearance and very necessary. Sensi. It's a loose ball. Suarez. Otavio. Porto have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but. What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. reach that aimed long and direct that's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually yeah and they've got to be careful Peter that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline Good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before it had been closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy. Now it's Felipe Anderson. Otavio. Pops it towards the front. And play for a throw. Mkhitaryan. Lukaku takes control of it and he's on the move. Out wide to the right. Now the pass. Suarez. That is wayward. 
Well, he was in such a great position in front of goal and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Sensi. Very well to intervene. Pepe with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Out to the flank. Now here's the through ball. Porto are not functioning with the cutting edge they need. We're seeing too much passing and not enough reward. It's time for more drive and certainly for more penetration. Felipe Anderson tosses it through. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And time is up. Inter Milan come away with the win. A job really well done in 